Welcome to High Q on Cool TV, brought to you by Clark's Pump and Shops of the Tri-State, your neighborhood food fair, Kentucky Farmers Bank, Ashland Community and Technical College, River City's Builders, A&A Porta Potties, First and People's Bank, and Dutch Miller Auto Group. Today, these two teams, Huntington High School and George Washington, will play to see who will win the 2023-24 High Q Tournament. Now, from the Cool TV studios in downtown Ashland, Kentucky, here's the host of High Q, Ernie Anderson. Thank you, Jeff Irwin. Double duties in our quarterfinals and our final games. And uh, tell you what, we had a great game last week that propelled this Huntington High team by 10 points into this final against a good GW team. And uh, we thank you, coaches, very much, Kelly and Pete for uh, bringing your teams this year to high Q, And here in my grubby little pause, I have a $1,000 check in here, a $500 check in here, winner and runner up. So best of luck to both teams. You're excellent, obviously, to get this far in our tournament. And Huntington, we're gonna start with you. Roman numerals. What would 1984, the dystopian social science fiction novel and cautionary tale by English writer George Orwell be, in Roman numerals. All right, how about it, Simeon? X, X, I, V, M, N. No? Uh, M, X, C, L, X, 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 I, V. M-C-M-L-X-X-X-I-V. Your Roman numerals. What would a cook do to cake batter ingredients if she would 1009 translate that number to Roman numerals for your answer? Wouldn't that just be... That's just... What are the Roman numerals associated with that answer? Uh, M-I-X. M-I-X yeah. is right. She would mix the batter, and yeah, uh, 1,009 is M-I-X. Staying with you for U.S. presidents, I need four answers. U.S. presidents' last names began with T. Name all four of those U.S. presidents yeah. whose last names began with T. Ms. Huntington's working as well in case it comes over to them. They'll have their U.S. president's question, of course. In this finale of this season's high Q. And by the way, if your Trump, team uh, would oh, like yeah, to be of course, of course, yes. uh, okay. part uh, uh, yeah. next season, just let us know. All right. Of course. Uh, Truman, Tap, Taylor, and Trump. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I forgot about it. It's another T somewhere. All right. Your four answers. U.S. president's last names began with C. Name all four. You're trying to figure out the fourth with Trump, I guess. Yeah. Here we are on June 1st, 2024. Crazy, been a crazy season. Again, we thank all of the teams who've come this season, even our middle school teams. And again, if your middle school would like to participate, just get in touch with me here at Cool Hits 1057. We have a toll free number, 800 551 1057. All right, begins with C. Simeon. Coolidge, Clinton, Chapman, and Cleveland. Say again. Coolidge, Clinton, Chapman, and Cleveland. No. Coolidge, Clinton, Carter, and Cleveland. Yes. Cleveland, Coolidge, Carter, Clinton, in that order. Uh, didn't need them in order, though. Uh, back to you, though, Joseph. For ends or simian, ends in I, I. In geometry, it's the plural of the line extending from the center of a circle or sphere to the circumference or surface. In anatomy... It's the plural of the thicker and shorter of the two bones in the human forearm. Radii. Radii is right, so get you on the board there. And now for you, Joseph and team, ends in II. This is the abbreviation for a character encoding standard for electronic communication. The codes represent text in computers, telecommunications equipment, 
and other devices. What is that abbreviation ending in II? Any guess? I don't know. All right. Do you know Simeon? M B I I. No, it's A S C I I ASCII, uh, oh. the American Standard Code for Inter Information Interchange. They call it ASCII. Yeah, Back to you now for a visual question, uh, Joseph. G W, a word puzzle. Take a look at this word puzzle and solve it. It's a familiar quote in which the man speaking considers suicide as an escape from his troubles. Yeah, to be or not to be. <laughs> that was the question, yeah, and you answered it question. properly. Now, your visual uh, word puzzle question for Simeon and team. Take a look at this word puzzle and solve it. It became a 1981 million-selling song, a 1980 movie, 2021 free-to-play 3v3v3 multiplayer tactical first-person shooter video game developed and published by Red Hill Games for Windows without the word working. Working 9 to 5. That's it. Working 9 to 5 is all. <coughs> class, uh, all working class stiffs do. I have a Dracula spelling for you now. Spell the first and last names of the author of Dracula. B R A M S T O K E R. Y E S. Gives you another 10, brings you to 30. You have 40. Dracula spelling, spell the name of the Romanian region Gothic fortress in the novel. Okay. T R A N S Y L V A N I A. N Y E S for you. And that brings you to 50 to 30. At the end of our warm up round, we'll go to the bonus round when High Q returns. At Dutch Miller Automotive, we've grown quite a bit over the last 60 years, but our core principles remain the same. We believe in treating our customers and our team members like friends and family, and we see it as our obligation to give back to all the communities we are so fortunate to do business in. In just West Virginia alone, we've grown from one location on the west end of Huntington to 10 rooftops employing more than 500 mountaineers. Check out the inventory from all of our stores at DutchMillerAuto.com. Dutch Miller Automotive Group, West Virginia proud. Hello everyone, I am Rick Clark. Let me introduce you to Carlisle, Annabelle, and Zach. And as you can tell by these commercials, this family has a lot of fun. We have a great team here at Clark's. And we would love for you to join our family. Whether you're a young person looking for your first job, someone who's looking for extra work, or maybe you're ready to start a career at a growing company, we want to talk to you. To find out more and start the process, go to MyClarksPNS.com. Clark's Pub and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. I'm April Perry, the CEO of Kentucky Farmers Bank. On average, our employees have been with Kentucky Farmers Bank for over 10 years, and that is important to you and us. We want you to know who you are dealing with. Whether you are financing a new home, buying a car, or remodeling your kitchen, Kentucky Farmers Bank is the better bank for all your needs. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for all your financial needs since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit, and Catlettsburg, KentuckyFarmersBank.com, member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you can picture yourself in a better job and a better life, there are thousands of openings in Kentucky right now. And with the Work Ready Kentucky Scholarship, you can prepare for many of them tuition free. Good at Ashland Community and Technical College, this scholarship offers 100% free tuition for classes that can prepare you for a great job in healthcare, advanced manufacturing, and more in as little as 13 weeks. Get started today at WorkReadyKentucky.com. At Food Fair, fresh produce means we use local farmers and agriculture to provide the best for your family from the farm into your hands. Convenience means providing cut and ready fruits and vegetables that give your family freshness without the prep time. By downloading the Food Fair app, you can shop fresh, collect cart cash rewards, and even have freshness delivered right to your door. Download the Food Fair app today and start shopping. Food Fair, conveniently fresh. Thank you and welcome back everybody to High Q, our big finale this season, 50 to 30, a very good game in progress, GW in the early lead. 
We're getting ready for the bonus round now in this championship game. And we'll start with you, GW. And Joseph, a physicist question. This German-born British astronomer and composer of 24 symphonies and concertos, as well as some church music, frequently collaborated with his younger sister and fellow astronomer, Caroline. physicist uh the 10 he constructed his first large telescope in 1774 after which he spent nine years carrying out sky surveys to investigate double stars publishing catalogs of nebulae in 1802 so, no, i don't think it's yeah you're it's right german he's italian yeah you're right um, one to five yeah the five on March 13, 1781, while making observations, he made note of a new object in the constellation of Gemini. This would, after several weeks of verification and consultation with other astronomers, be confirmed to be a new planet, eventually given the name of Uranus. Name this great, credited with the discovery of infrared radiation and sunlight, his initials are WH. Oh, Hubble. No, Hubble. It's not. What? Yeah, you're right. Simeon? Uh, Hayden. It's Herschel, William Herschel. Yeah, Herschel. Right. Literature, though, for you, uh, Huntington. This was a four act drama written by George Bernard Shaw in 1903 in response to a call for Shaw to write a play based on the Don Juan theme. The 10, please. Characters include Hector Malone, Sr. Anne Whitefield, John, Jack Tanner, Susan Ramsden, and Mendoza. Five, please. Although this work can be performed as a light comedy of manners, Shaw intended the drama to be something much deeper, as suggested by the title, which comes from Friedrich Nietzsche's philosophical ideas about the Ubermensch. Tougher questions in our finale here. Death of a Salesman? No. Yes. Oh, oh. It's man and Superman. Man and Superman. Is what that is. All right. <clears throat> American All right. History, 1510.5 for you, GW. This Massachusetts native's books, articles, essays, journals, and poetry amount to more than 20 volumes. Among his lasting contributions are his writings on natural history and philosophy, in which he anticipated the methods and findings of ecology and environmental history, two sources of modern-day environmentalism. The ten. He was a lifelong abolitionist, delivering lectures that attacked the fugitive slave law while praising the writings of Wendell Phillips and defending the abolitionist John Brown. What, the five? Yeah. The a five. leading transcendentalist, best known for his book Walden, a reflection upon simple living and natural surroundings, and his essay, Civil Disobedience, an argument for disobedience to an unjust state. The row? The row is right. Henry, okay, David, the row gets you five. All right. Now then, we will move to our first bonus on Moby Dick. For five points, Moby Dick is an 1851 novel by what American writer? Melville. Melville is right. The book is what sailor's narrative of the obsessive quest of Ahab, captain of the whaling ship Pequod. Ishmael. Call me Ishmael. Ishmael travels in December from Manhattan Island to New Bedford in what state? I don't know. Um, Answer? Uh, Virginia? No. Simeon, 15 points if your team knows. Massachusetts? It is Massachusetts. Indeed it is. All right. So you pick up the 15, brings you to 45, 70 for GW. And our final 15, 10, 5 is over to you, uh, Simeon and team. This is a southern African nation whose long Indian Ocean coastline is dotted with popular beaches like Tofo, as well as offshore marine parks. You want the 10? 
the ten, please. Its extensive coastline fronting its channel, which separates mainland Africa from the island of Madagascar, offers some of Africa's best natural harbors. Mozambique. Is the one for ten. It's Mozambique. Now your final bonus begins with E U. Any of numerous tall trees that are native to Australia. These trees have wood valued as timber and aromatic leaves containing oil used in medicinal preparations. What is this 10-letter word a favorite of a koala bear? Eucalyptus. That's right. Now, for 10 more, the use of an event that generates extreme happiness or using an appealing event to boost morale can be created by declaring a holiday, making luxury items available, or mounting a military parade with marching bands and patriotic messages. What is this 8-letter word? Euphoria. Is right. Tied the score at this point. Now, will you go ahead with this 15? This is a generally innocuous word or expression used in place of one that may be found offensive or suggests something unpleasant, such as people don't go to prison. It's a correctional facility. What is this nine-letter word? Euphemism. Euphemism is right. That brings you to 85. And the lead as we head into the stump the expert or the 60-second uh, round, medicine. What? Math glossary and people. When Haikyuu huh? returns. At Dutch Miller Automotive, we've grown quite a bit over the last 60 years, but our core principles remain the same. We believe in treating our customers and our team members like friends and family, and we see it as our obligation to give back to all the communities we are so fortunate to do business in. In just West Virginia alone, we've grown from one location on the west end of Huntington to 10 rooftops employing more than 500 mountaineers. Check out the inventory from all of our stores at DutchMillerAuto.com. Dutch Miller Automotive Group, West Virginia proud. Hello everyone, I am Rick Clark. Let me introduce you to Carlisle, Annabelle, and Zach. And as you can tell by these commercials, this family has a lot of fun. We have a great team here at Clark's. And we would love for you to join our family. Whether you're a young person looking for your first job, someone who's looking for extra work, or maybe you're ready to start a career at a growing company, we want to talk to you. To find out more and start the process, go to MyClarksPNS.com. Clark's Pub and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Where does your money go? When you bank with us, your deposit becomes your neighbor's loan. A real estate agent sells a house. They get a commission. They deposit it with us. We use it to make an auto loan to one of our customers. Hometown people helping each other grow. That's what it's all about. First in People's Bank and Trust Company. Member FDIC. We are the home office. If you can picture yourself in a better job and a better life, there are thousands of openings in Kentucky right now. And with the Work Ready Kentucky Scholarship, you can prepare for many of them tuition free. Good at Ashland Community and Technical College, this scholarship offers 100% free tuition for classes that can prepare you for a great job in healthcare, advanced manufacturing, and more in as little as 13 weeks. Get started today at WorkReadyKentucky.com. At Food Fair, fresh produce means we use local farmers and agriculture to provide the best for your family, from the farm into your hands. Convenience means providing cut and ready fruits and vegetables that give your family freshness without the prep time. By downloading the Food Fair app, you can shop fresh, collect cart cash rewards, and even have freshness delivered right to your door. Download the Food Fair app today and start shopping. Food Fair, conveniently fresh. River Cities Builders is a licensed general contractor specializing in commercial and industrial projects, and they have a history and reputation of providing top-notch expertise through their experienced and devoted workforce. River Cities Builders also is a gas facility maintenance company offering petroleum equipment maintenance and EMV compliant upgrades for smart payment terminals, and they offer 24 hours, seven days a week emergency service. Call 606-473-4112 or visit River Cities buildersinc.com thank you very much and welcome back to iq it's our 60 second round category we've had a couple of sweeps uh during our quarterfinals and uh, did we have one in the semifinal did either of you sweep the category you swept the category and you did too so maybe that's going to happen here among medicine what math glossary and people we always have fun with the teams trying to figure out what those mean but we're going to find out now because what do you want, Joseph? What? 
I said, what do you want? <laughs> what? Oh, I see. <laughs> what it is. What it is. What it is. Okay, here we go. What two flavors make mocha? Coffee and chocolate. What color is the inside of a pistachio nut? Green. What is a perfect score in a gymnastic exercise? Ten. Africa's northernmost point is located in what country beginning with the letter T? Timbuktu. No. What state would you be in if you drove the Natchez Trail from Tupelo? Mississippi. Uh -huh. What are you if you are her suit? Better? No. Oh. What are the first six words of a tale of two cities? It was the best of times That's and the worst of times. Oh, we need the six words. What type of stain does stainless steel avoid? Rust. What term do scientists use for any substance studied under a microscope? Microscopic. No. What large lizards take their name from the Asian islands where they're found? Last one. Canaan? No. You picked up six. Brings you another 60 for 130. Yeah. Simeon and Company. What? what? I think I know. Africa's northernmost point is located in what country beginning with the letter T? Tunisia. Tunisia is the one. What are you if you are her suit? Short. Um, Joseph, your arms are her suit. Oh, hair. You're hairy if you're ah. her suit. Okay. Yeah, All right. And let's see. What term do scientists use for any substance studied under a microscope? Sample. Yeah. It's a specimen. Specimen. What large lizards <laughs> take their name from the Asian islands where they're found? Yeah, they can. Komodo dragons. Komodo dragons is right. Mm -hmm. So you picked up two of theirs. That's fine. You're at 105. They have 130. But your category remaining, which one do you like of those? Uh, math glossary, please. Math glossary. Okay. So no computation obviously involved. For both teams, math glossary, here we go. An angle whose measure is between 0 and 90 degrees or less Acute. than 90 degrees radian. Acute. Yeah. The bottom of a shape or three-dimensional object, what the Thanks. object rests on. The branch mathematics involving derivatives and integrals. Calculus. A polygon shape with 10 angles and 10 straight lines. Decahedron. No. The number that denotes repeated multiplication of a term shown as a superscript above the term. Exponential. Uh, a quantity that is not whole that contains a numerator and denominator. Fraction. Study of lines, angles, shapes, and their properties. Geometry. A type of conic section or symmetrical open curve. Parabola. No. All whole numbers, positive or negative, including zero. Integers. Say again. Integers. Yes, integers is right. And a unit of energy or work equal to the work done or transferred by a force of one newton acting over one meter in the direction of a horse. Time is up. So you picked up three, six, seven of those. That brings you to 175. Now on the ones on the uh, math glossary, Joseph and team, let's see. How about a polygon shape with 10 angles and 10 straight lines? Decagon. That's a decagon. And a type of conic section or symmetrical open curve. S semicircle? A hyperbola. Ah. And we give you the last one, a unit of energy or work equal to the work done or transferred by a force of one newton acting over one meter in the direction of the force. Um, we started that before it's time a, right now. It's, Your a, answer? it's a jewel. It is a jewel. As you are, Joseph. <laughs> uh, all right. Now, at the end of our 60 seconds round, it's 175 for Huntington, 150 for George Washington. I have the Stump the Experts round. Who's going to win the $1,000? Who will win the $500? We'll find out. IQ returns. At Dutch Miller Automotive, we've grown quite a bit over the last 60 years, but our core principles remain the same. We believe in treating our customers and our team members like friends and family and we see it as our obligation to give back to all the communities we are so fortunate to do business in. In just West Virginia alone, we've grown from one location on the west end of Huntington to 10 rooftops employing more than 500 Mountaineers. Check out the inventory from all of our stores at DutchMillerAuto.com. 
Dutch Miller Automotive Group, West Virginia proud. Hello everyone, I am Rick Clark. Let me introduce you to Carlisle, Annabelle, and Zach. And as you can tell by these commercials, this family has a lot of fun. We have a great team here at Clark's. And we would love for you to join our family. Whether you're a young person looking for your first job, someone who's looking for extra work, or maybe you're ready to start a career at a growing company, we want to talk to you. To find out more and start the process, go to MyClarksPNS.com. Clark's Pub and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. I'm April Perry, the CEO of Kentucky Farmers Bank. On average, our employees have been with Kentucky Farmers Bank for over 10 years, and that is important to you and us. We want you to know who you are dealing with. Whether you are financing a new home, buying a car, or remodeling your kitchen, Kentucky Farmers Bank is the better bank for all your needs. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for all your financial needs since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit, and Catlettsburg. KentuckyFarmersBank.com, member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you can picture yourself in a better job and a better life, there are thousands of openings in Kentucky right now. And with the Work Ready Kentucky Scholarship, you can prepare for many of them tuition free. Good at Ashland Community and Technical College, this scholarship offers 100% free tuition for classes that can prepare you for a great job in healthcare, advanced manufacturing, and more in as little as 13 weeks. Get started today at WorkReadyKentucky.com. At Food Fair, fresh produce means we use local farmers and agriculture to provide the best for your family, from the farm into your hands. Convenience means providing cut and ready fruits and vegetables that give your family freshness without the prep time. By downloading the Food Fair app, you can shop fresh, collect cart cash rewards, and even have freshness delivered right to your door. Download the Food Fair app today and start shopping. Food Fair, conveniently fresh. Wow. Welcome back. As we expect with two quality teams, we have a very close score, 175 to 150 at this point in favor of the Huntington High School team, all in green, and you guys are all in it's burgundy. burgundy. All right. So the green and burgundy, and I'm with green, I guess, in blue. I don't know what that means. We're going to uh, start the stump the expert. Stump the, my voice is changing. <laughs> hey, I'll never grow up. Audio question, and we'll start with you at Huffington High. A song written in 1911 was made into a number one novelty hit in 1965 by a British group. It's a song about royalty. Name the song and the group. I got married to the widow next door. She's been married seven times before. And everyone was an entering. Entering. She wouldn't have a willy or a sound. No, sir. I'm a eighth old man, I'm entering. H-E-N-R-Y And I really hate fire yeah. All right, the song okay. and the group. Henry VIII by the Rolling Stones. Who, by whom? By uh, the Rolling Stones. No. It's not the Beatles. Um, I don't know. Who is it, Joseph? The Royals. <laughs> it's Henry VIII. Herman's Hermits, who were another British invasion group, though. But your audio question. What's the answer to the many questions posed in this song? How many roads must a man walk down? How many seas must a white dove sail? How many times must the cannonballs fly? What is the answer? Too many to count. No? Um, Simeon? None. Your answer? None. None. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. Oh. Great Bob Seeger song. That was Peter, Paul, <laughs> and Mary there. Coming over for a math question, uh, Joseph and team. What is the square root of 25 over 64? It's just 5 over 8. 5 over 8. That's right. He's surprised that uh, perhaps, see, when, when I do these things, I have no idea what they've learned or not. Well, that's easy. Well, maybe Sorry. not for some. What are the four consecutive integers whose sum is 74? This will be for Huntington. 
the four consecutive integers whose sum is 74. Marking furiously on their papers. All right. 17, 18, 19, 20. You got them for 20 points. Let's go to battles, and it's for you, Huntington. Also known by locals as the Battle of the Greasy Grass, and commonly referred to as Custer's Last Stand, what more commonly is known as what battle? Uh, battle of Bull Run. No. Sure. Little Bighorn. Little Bighorn is right for 20. <clears throat> Brings you to within stuff. five. 195, 190. Your battle's question, though. The battle, which resulted in the defeat of U.S. forces, was the most significant action of what 1876 war, known as the Black Hills War? Is that the, 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 what was the one that was named after the Indian guy? The, um, uh, Joseph? Pequot War? No. Simeon? Your answer? It's the Great Sioux War. Started with an S. Let's fill in the musical blank here. I need three answers. Rodgers and Hammerstein's musicals, The Sound of Blank, The King and Blank, and Flower Blank Songs. All have different. Different. So three different answers Sound of music, for both of you in these uh, two questions. The Sound of Blank, The King and Blank, and Flower, flower Blank Song. I guess. Answers? The Sound of Music, The King and Queen, and um, Flower Power Song? No, well, that's a good guess, though. Yeah. All right, Simeon, can you give me those three? Thanks. Your answers? Uh, music. People. People and... No, yeah. The Sound of Music, The King and I, and The Flower Drum Song. Rogers and Hammerstein. Now, I have Stephen Sondheim songs for you. Stephen Sondheim musicals, West Side Blank, A Little Night Blank, and Sweeney Todd, The Demon Blank of Fleet Street. <clears throat> All right, Simeon, give me answers if you have them. Um, story, Hyde, and Barber. No. Uh, story, Opera, and Barber. West Side Story, A Little Night Music, ah. and Sweeney Todd, The Demon was, Barber of Fleet Street. Yeah, two of them. Let's go back to you, uh, Huntington, for President Biden. How many of your kids remember President Biden? <laughs> Joe Biden was inaugurated as the 46th president of the U.S. January 20th, 2021. At 78, he is the oldest person to have assumed the office. He is the second Catholic president. What Massachusetts native was the first? JFK. JFK is right. That brings you to 215. Now, your President Biden question. Joe Biden was the first man since what man to have been both vice president and president? He was Time Magazine's Man of the Year in 1990. Is it Bush? Are you sure it's Bush or, Bush or is it Ford? No, it's Bush. Okay, Bush. More specific. Uh, senior. Yes, okay. that is correct. That is the last question I have. 2.15 to 2.10 is our final. We'll double check that and make sure we're all right when High Q returns. Wow. At Dutch Miller Automotive, we've grown quite a bit over the last 60 years, but our core principles remain the same. We believe in treating our customers and our team members like friends and family. 
and we see it as our obligation to give back to all the communities we are so fortunate to do business in. In just West Virginia alone, we've grown from one location on the west end of Huntington to 10 rooftops employing more than 500 mountaineers. Check out the inventory from all of our stores at DutchMillerAuto.com. Dutch Miller Automotive Group, West Virginia proud. Hello everyone, I am Rick Clark. Let me introduce you to Carlisle, Annabelle, and Zach. And as you can tell by these commercials, this family has a lot of fun. We have a great team here at Clark's. And we would love for you to join our family. Whether you're a young person looking for your first job, someone who's looking for extra work, or maybe you're ready to start a career at a growing company, we want to talk to you. To find out more and start the process, go to MyClarksPNS.com. Clark's Pub and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Where does your money go? When you bank with us, your deposit becomes your neighbor's loan. A real estate agent sells a house. They get a commission. They deposit it with us. We use it to make an auto loan to one of our customers. Hometown people helping each other grow. That's what it's all about. First in People's Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC. We are the home office. If you can picture yourself in a better job and a better life, there are thousands of openings in Kentucky right now. And with the Work Ready Kentucky Scholarship, you can prepare for many of them tuition free. Good at Ashland Community and Technical College, this scholarship offers 100% free tuition for classes that can prepare you for a great job in healthcare, advanced manufacturing, and more in as little as 13 weeks. Get started today at WorkReadyKentucky.com. At Food Fair, fresh produce means we use local farmers and agriculture to provide the best for your family, from the farm into your hands. Convenience means providing cut and ready fruits and vegetables that give your family freshness without the prep time. By downloading the Food Fair app, you can shop fresh, collect cart cash rewards, and even have freshness delivered right to your door. Download the Food Fair app today and start shopping. Food Fair, conveniently fresh. When you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables, and chairs. a and Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. Thank you very much. What an incredible finale in the three seasons that this version of Q has been on. It's the first time we've had two West Virginia teams. So if any of you other West Virginia teams would like to get in on this next season, just get in touch with me here at Cool Hits 1057. We have a toll-free number. It's 800-551-1057. Or scan the QR code. Oh, we don't have one. On. <laughs> All right, uh, Pete Kosky couldn't make it, but Mrs. Pete Kosky is here to accept the $500 check as the runner-up in this season's high Q. High and there you go. And congratulations. Very fine team and Huntington High. Uh, Kelly Coffer gets the $1,000 check. We'll spend it at Barberino. No, yes. well, uh, uh, listen, I thank all of the coaches, all of the parents who've come this season as we wrap up this season of Q. Now, when we're taping this, it will not show until June 1st. What is today? What, like 27th of January. So, you know, we, we've gone through the snows of January. So, uh, you know, we tape them well ahead. So that's why I'm saying if you want to get in touch, we'll start taping either in er late September, early October uh, this year. So uh, just get in touch with us here at Cool Hits. We'd love to have you as one of our Q teams. Ernie G. Anderson, as always, reminding you to adopt a spade or neutered pet for a lifetime of love. And we'll see you next season here on High Cube.